In this video, we're going to show you the new ability to edit the existing smart plans. So I'm here inside of command and I went to smart plans and you're going to notice it says my smart plans. So if you come here and this list is blank for you, simply come over to the library and you're going to find the smart plans you want to add to your library and just click the button that says add to my um, library, add to smart plan. So here I am in my smart plans and I'm going to show you how you can edit the pieces. So let's do one like the long-term nurture. I'm going to click the edit button here with the pencil. And here it's going to give me the option to edit the existing. Now in the future we'll be able to create your own. For now it's really more just editing the task and editing any auto text or emails that might go out. You can also now choose and eventually you'll be able to choose a uh, category and a trigger event. Again this is the first phase in giving us the ability to create our own which is exciting. So I'm going to come here and see okay here's a task phone call with and it has the client's name. Now on the right I have the ability to add more fields. I'm going to add contact phone number just because I don't want to have to go into the description to see what their number is and I just think that would help me find that quickly. However this is really neat that we have these merge fields and all kinds of great stuff to do here. So that would be the first one here create task send value email to blank. So this is your ability to remind you it's more of a task to actually just do it. Then it's going to send an auto text. Now this is neat. I've already connected my Twilio account and I can choose which one of these text messages to use. Add more text and repeat. So here's the ones that they have. Let's just say I want to use one for static and then I get to say hey there and I'm going to put in a name. So hey there first name. I know your real estate needs are further off, but I just want to make sure that you're getting all the tools and information you need from me to support you as we prepare for that day. How can I help you today? And it's got my name, and I'm going to say with the J team. So what I just did is I took this text message and I enhanced it, which is great, and I just chose one. If you do dynamic, then it's going to give you some suggestions, and it could send out a couple times. So I'm going to stick with static, and it made my changes. So that is one way to actually create these and in the future all this stuff on the right will eventually be unlocked. So I'm now able to add somebody from here and I can save and continue. And I'm going to keep the custom, give it a name, J Team, so I know it was done. Hit save. Now it's been saved and I can come in here and add people if I need to. So for this example I'm going to put it with my test contact of Mickey Mouse, add to smart plan. I do have Twilio set up and there we go. I'm going to confirm and add them to that plan. I'm all done and I hit save. So now I've taken that smart plan and customized it to my own needs. This works for all the current plans. Now I know a lot of you are probably wondering, can you edit the monthly neighborhood nurture email itself? Not yet, because that's going to be part of the campaign's email editor. However, you can modify your text, um, your notes, and your task list items, and your to-do list items like here to call, and you can add a phone number there. So that's how we can do it. Once I'm done, I click the little back button, and now I've got my smart plan here, and you just use the edit on the right. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, follow me on KB Connect or YouTube today.